welcome to another travel vlog. We are here in Montreal, Canada, and this is a place that I've been wanting to come to for so long, and since we have moved to New York City, we figure that we would come, especially during the fall where the leaves are changing. As you can see, I'm in a very beautiful park right now, and the temperature is perfect. And this was only an hour and a half flight from New York City. We are here for three days, We've never been here before, so we're just gonna eat all the good food, practice our French, which is non-existent, shop, walk around old Montreal, and just uh, check out like the fall foliage here, which is very, very beautiful. So like I have been doing in every video, I wanted to quickly touch on COVID and what the process was like for us as Americans to come over to Canada. Basically, um, we, did, we do need to be vaccinated, um, and then you do need to have a negative COVID test um, that's checked at the airport. Like we were checked in New York City for our negative test and our vaccination card. And then you also have to fill out this form online that's called... Arrive Can. Arrive Can. It's on an app. It's on an app. It's really easy to fill out. And then of course, if you're American going back, you have to be negative for a COVID test at least three days prior to your departure. So... Those are the requirements. It was really easy. Everything was really smooth. Um, so now, since we are so hungry, we're gonna go and have some brunch and then spend the rest of the day walking around. across this pumpkin patch outside of the farmer's market. Look at these pumpkins. They are so interesting. Very, very unique. Just like 
every individual human being. We are all unique and beautiful in our own way. second full day in Montreal. Um, we are currently walking to Chinatown to get a good hot bowl of noodles because it is a little chilly here and it's raining. So a bowl of hot noodle soup is like the perfect thing to have on a day like this. Um, as you can see, it is so pretty. Montreal, I've noticed, is like the most aesthetic city ever. It is just so pretty and quirky and elegant all at the same time. And then later on after Chinatown, we're gonna go and do a little bit more shopping. I wanna get some gifts, um, have some more coffee. And then tonight we're gonna go to this like really cute Nordic wine bar that I found online and have some more wine. Cause yesterday I noticed that Quebec has a lot of wine producers and a lot of like small independent wine brands. So I really, really want to try some local wine. So let's go. Right here. Yay, I'm so excited. And we got this, um, I got this spicy, of course, with um, the thick noodles. Oh my God, so good. So we have been taking the metro and walking around everywhere here in Montreal. Um, it's been pretty convenient so far. We have yet to take the bus. But you can buy a weekend pass and limited rides for I believe 14 Canadian dollars and the card itself is six which is kind of expensive, but we bought it anyways because we do plan on coming back here in the future. So, yeah, except I forgot my card today. So I had to pay for a one-way ticket. Really good, really light. 
really refreshing and the perfect size. Sesame bagels. This is a classic. This was like what, a dollar fifty-five Canadian. It's so hot, it's softer. Let me take a bite. I feel like I'm cheating on New York right now. It's definitely softer, fluffier. And as you can see, there's like a big hole in the middle, which is like so different from the New York style bagels. And it's sweet. It is sweeter, like the actual dough is like sweeter and it's very sesame. So the more I ate this, the more I fell in love. I could literally eat like five of these. These are so good and the sesame makes it so fragrant. Okay, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with Montreal bagels now. This is so good. <laughs> We are here in Old Montreal. You're probably thinking two days into this trip, how have we not come here? Well, we saved it for our very last day because our Airbnb is like a five minute walk to the river. So we are here having some crepes, sitting outside at this lovely restaurant. Um, and today is Canadian Thanksgiving. So for all the Canadians out there, Happy Thanksgiving. Thankfully, there are restaurants that are still open. So yeah, we're gonna walk around, do some shopping, eating, walking along the river. Probably not gonna do the Ferris wheel because I don't feel like spending $25 for a 20 minute ride on the Ferris wheel. But that's just me being cheap as always, but definitely gonna walk around. Are you guys loving the fall shots? Because I have been obsessed over here just taking so many shots of this. Because it is so beautiful. And if you are hearing water sounds because of this. Oh, this is so gorgeous. We're walking the bridge. We're gonna go walk all the way over there to the watchtower. And we are by the St. Lawrence River. All the moods in the heartbeat We're going back where it all began The same ground on the heart feet Starts to shake with you all we can Winter time to spring I remember everything from Wichita This town is on its knees You know God is overseas I'm telling you Oh, 
What's more to this than what you see? You know this town's got the best of me. We are going to be leaving Montreal in an hour. We are just at a cafe here having our last cappuccino in Old Montreal. Oh my goodness, it was so much fun. As you all know, I don't really do anything too touristy when I'm out, so this weekend we just shopped, drank, and walked around. I forgot to mention that we actually booked a free walking tour for this trip, but it got canceled last minute. Um, but we will definitely be back next time to do that um, and maybe explore a little bit more of the outskirts of Montreal. Back to New York City. Can't believe it's only an hour flight away. We will definitely be back. Hopefully in the summer to experience a totally different season, but fall here was absolutely beautiful. And I think I've taken enough pictures. So on the flight, I'm gonna be pinning on my phone because I have way too many pictures of the fall leaves here. Until next time, Montreal. Sure.